make some noise for Sabrina D. Like she said, I've never heard somebody call my full name since elementary school. Wow, you took it back. Um, I come from Jersey, correct, but I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. You heard me? Yes, New Orleans, Louisiana. Usually when I say that and I'm in conversation, people are like, New Orleans, Louisiana? Yes, who that? Who that? Who that said they gonna beat them safe? Huh? Who that? going to the Super Bowl, I'm just letting y'all know right now, but that's not what this is about. Let me calm down, because it's not about that. It's not about that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just jump in and do some poetry. This is my first time at Queer Abstract, and I'm just like, yes, this, this is really good energy up in here. I fucked with this the long way, not the short. But thank you for having me. I appreciate it, so here we go. I don't want to shoot, because it's like, My pages hissed ominously, like leaves blowing across the pavement, turning, tiredly they keep turning. It's so much, I'm not, no, no. Mm -hmm. My pages hissed ominously, like leaves blowing across the pavement, turning, tiredly they keep turning. To be moved by violence without free will feels, feels crippling. I have been unsure of which lines of words to display on what surface. I feel the undoing of my sheets within the creases, the tearing of me without my consent, the sound of me being snatched apart to pieces by force, leaving me ragged, edges unheavy, unable to make sense of myself, my body, and my surroundings. I used to be able to recall the days I sat on the bookshelves. I was ancient with shiny black leather that looked well kept. I stood fatter than other, others and a couple inches higher. As soon as I was touched by a reader, they would know that I was loved. As soon as they pulled me from in between my neighbors, they'd see that I had a surprisingly smooth feel for such a hard object. My pages. My pages used to fall open in hands whose permission I'd given, and they bear witness to just a hint of foxing around the edges of the paper, and a, and a very, very beautiful smell that grazed their nostrils as they excitedly awaited to read the pages resting within me. But now, but now instead, I am of great weight. I am hard to lift, undesirable to carry, and hard to love. I, I am burdened. Thank you. Now, that one is the first one I've done because about two, two weeks before Thanksgiving, I, I, I'm a, the reason she said I have really great Instagram pictures is sometimes I do modeling on the side. And I had entrusted a photographer um, in the community to come in my home and to take photos of me. Um, he had asked to do a photo shoot and he came and without even realizing it, he had sexually assaulted me in my home without my consent. And I have, since then I have been trying to figure out how to fit in my body, how to stay in my body, how to not feel burdened, how to not feel hard to lift. After that, a lot of things just, just kind of just went out of control. My, my girlfriend broke up with me. I found myself trying to figure out what to do next. And now I am here in front of you, and a bitch is moving to Thailand in two weeks. I said, fuck it all. And I decided to take 
take my black ass to Thailand. I said all that to say, I know that we are all sharing and we are all artists, but you have to be careful who you trust because I trusted him because I worked with him before. I thought he was a good guy, but everybody ain't good guys and good girls just because they can do good art. So just be careful with who you let into your space and be careful, know their reputation and know who they are because they will take advantage of you. And I learned that lesson the hard way and I don't want y'all to learn it the same, you heard me? Thank you. All right, so before Sabrina continues, right, because she just got vulnerable, um, thank you for letting me jump up here. I know that you said that you don't want to shush nobody, but I really appreciate the people who have come to Queer Abstract before because we do have a culture. Now, I believe and I have learned and I have trained in early childhood development that you ain't supposed to shush a baby because it teaches them uh, silence too early, but you can shush a motherfucking adult. So we do something here where we pass the shush, right? So collectively right now, I know we got the bar popping, everybody's excited about the dance floor, but if if we can pass a shush and then say there's a poet on the mic. One, two, three. Shh. There's a poet on the mic. All right, you can have your microphone back. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> Thank you. I am so fucking tired of people asking me what the fuck I am as if the only way they'll ever be able to accept me is by characterizing me. As if bred any gay, straight, lesbian, or queer helps them tuck their children in a warm and safe in their beds. Like, typifying me helps them sleep at night. Like, who I choose to love or make love to has anything to do with them. I don't fuck with being alphabetized, categorized, analyzed, or arranged just so I can make some sort of sense to them. I am a woman. I am just a woman who loves being a woman who loves women. I love their curves. I love the thickness of their thighs and the soft caress of their skin. I love the sway of their hips and the sexiness of their bosom. I love the succulence of their tulips and how everything about them is toothsome. I am a woman. They can't just box me in for their understanding. I am a woman. I am not a stud, nor am I a femme, and I have no desire whatsoever to be a fucking man. I am a woman. I am just a woman who loves being a woman who loves women. That's it. And if they can't wrap their small clothes, minute minds around it, if they can't grasp the fucking concept, if they can't understand where the fuck I'm coming from, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them, baby. Thank you. From my cool brown hair to the lines that form deep within my caramel skin, I am a black woman. And I am proud. From the burdens of my people from way back when, when they were picking and a singing and a striving and a fighting just so I could have a chance to be who I am. I am a black woman. And I'm proud, bitch. From my deep amber eyes to my full succulent lips, from the shape of my figure, even though I'm skinny to the way I move my hips, I am a black woman. And I am proud. They be asking me like, what's so great about being black? They be looking at me this way sometimes speaking as if because I am, I am less. They be wondering if I would ever want to transfigure to be accepted more, to be respected more, to be just like them, but I digress. Because I have nations inside of my womb and a love for my people inside of my breasts. My heart beats the rhythm of ancient kings and queens and my pigments? My pigment exudes strength. I am a black woman. You hear me? A black woman, baby. And I am proud. Thank you. Thank you for having me.